There's a tense moment, the RV approaching the semi, getting ready to make a turn. It's just too wide to, to make that pass. Oh my God, is he just gonna crash and then keep going? It just barely misses the semi. Car dealer Justin Pulowski is at his auto shop in Akron when he sees the wild chase. on steel wheels when he passed me. They blew out the tires on the entrance ramp. He was going already a good three miles on steel wheels. I don't know how he was still moving. Justin and his co-workers videotape the unfolding reality show. He's going down! He's going down! Officers chase the battered RV onto another highway ramp, narrowly dodging debris. This guy is swerving all over the place. Pieces of the vehicle are falling off. The officers, they might run over something and spin out of control. They have to do something. This pursuit has got to come to an end before someone is killed. Even spike strips. Go, go, pull them, pull them, pull them, pull them. Which police sometimes place on the road to try and bring a runaway car to a halt prove useless. Spikes were not successful. The mere size alone gives it enough momentum that even if the tires are flat, it's still going to keep moving at a high rate of speed. Still, the spike strips do cause some damage. Police want to know how long this RV can keep going. My wife calls me again. She goes, hey, the uh, deputy wanted to know how much gas you had in the uh, motorhome. I said, well, I always park it on full.